okay so class uh, today's topic is basically introduction to html okay so we are going to start with front end web development and the first language that are basically used for front end technology is html okay so html basically stands for hypertext markup so it is a language of internet okay one thing i am i am clearing here it is not a programming language it is a markup language so first of all let me explain what is hypertext hypertext means a text that is not a normal text but that is made up of hyperlinks means text that is made up of hyperlinks is known as hyper now the question is what is hyperlink see there are some text that is made up of hyperlinks like these are some text like these text are not a normal text these are hyperlink how it is called an hyperlink so whenever i click on any of the link it will any of the text it will open into a new tab see this open into a new tab so it means this is not a normal text it is a hyperlink okay so a text that is made up of hyperlinks is known as hyperlink now next what is markup language markup language means a language which is used to present the text which is used to present the text so a uh, presentation means the look and feel of the content see here this hypertext is having the blue color and it is of a uh, little bit bold okay and some texts are having different color okay different uh, like italic bold underline so when we are adding some stylish and some styles to the text so that that means we are adding some markup so it means uh, that that the process of making your text to be make different look different so that is called markup process okay so html is a markup language now what is the main intent to develop the html language so initially it was developed for for creating the documents for structuring the documents with heading paragraph list pictures and all that but later it can be used for presenting the document or making the availability of the document online okay we can publish our documents on world wide web okay we can use the web browser to display the content okay we use the, the document so that we can we can make the document to be uh, uh, look different from the normal document so that is the main intent for creating the html document so that we can transfer the data from one place to another place on on the another place the the, the document will be uh, look and feel remains the same okay the document will be uh, available in the same format okay that is the main intent the, the common uh, presentation of the document now who developed the uh, html uh, the person uh, named is tim berners lee in 1919 they developed the html because in 1996 uh, uh, there is an uh, there is a huge uh, implementation of the world wide network so tim berners lee used the concept of html so that the documents will be transferred from one place to another place okay so uh, in 2000 uh, it was it was now being uh, international standard uh, organization who make the html to be available on every Uh, on on the internet and currently we are using html5 html5 is basically the latest version that provides you the faster and the more robust approach to the developer see there are series of advancement in the html uh, html1 html2.0 3.2 4.01 xhtml html5 2 3 5.2 5.3 so latest we have we are currently working on F, uh, html5 Point three that was that was launched in twenty twenty. Uh, HTML grows from from the day it was developed. Now there are further some applications. You can publish your document online with text, image, list, and tables. You can make the uh, make, you can access these resources like images, videos. You can collect the data, user data in the form of in using the forms uh, of the HTML. Uh, that include videos audio sound file flash file including everything you can also make your html document to be available offline 
because this is an HTML file that can be executed on any browser. So this is also one of the application. You can store the data in the web browser uh, using some cookies and the local storage. And you can find the, the current location of the website visitor using the geolocation of the HTML feature. So there, there are so many applications where you can use the HTML. Uh, so advantage, advantage is that it is an easy to use. It is platform independent. You can use audio, video. It can support on all the browser. So these are their advancement advantage. Now the disadvantage now there are a very little disadvantage available in HTML5 is that with the help of HTML you can only create the static web pages. But with with the with the addition of backend languages you can also make your HTML document to be dynamic. And see, in, if you want to create a simple page, then still you need to uh, have a, some large uh, code you need to uh, add in order to make a simple web UI. That is a little uh, disadvantage of uh, HTML. But now in this course, we are working on HTML5. HTML5. So you must know what is the difference between the previous version and the current, uh, the latest version of HTML5. So here we are, I am specifying some of the main difference that may be asked during the interviews. What is the difference between HTML and HTML5? So uh, there are some main difference. The first main difference is the doc type declaration. First of all, I'll tell you what is doc type declaration. Doc type declaration is basically used by the browser in order to know what is the current version of the HTML you are using. Okay, and it, it also explains uh, which markup language you are currently using because in the market there are so many different markup languages available like uh, um, like xml xhtml sgml and the html itself so uh, the document type, type declaration it will tell you which version of html currently you are using in your document okay. so in the previous html version uh, the document type declaration is slightly longer as compared to the html file so that is the one difference second in the previous, uh, we have to specify the character encoding, which characters that uh, our HTML document will uh, will use. So again, it, it was very long in the previous version, but in HTML file, it can be easily specified using the meta tag. Okay, so meta tags gives you the information about about your page. Okay, so we will use meta tag, and we can specify character set UTF-8 for HTML file. Previous version doesn't support audio and video tag, but HTML file have audio and video tag. In the previous version, we cannot use the vector graphics. If you want to use vector graphics, you have to, you need to install separate software like Silverlight, Flash, VML. But in HTML file, you can use the canvas tag or SVG for using the vector graphics. Uh, you can use uh, the lo location of you can access the location of any visitor using the geolocation that will be that is an api available in html5 it also provides you to store the data in a local storage previously it was stored in the cookies in the previous version of html you can create some uh, some different shapes using the html5 uh, previously html4 uh, the javascript will be executed in the same thread it means whenever your html document is processed at the same time the JavaScript is being processed in the same thread, but here HTML5 is a multi-threaded in which it means JavaScript code can be ex can be executed in a separate thread. It doesn't it doesn't uh, need to wait for other uh, other threads to be executed. Okay. And HTML5 will be available in all the browser. Like in, in HTML4, there are some some dependency on uh, HTML browsers, but here HTML5 doesn't depend doesn't uh, um, uh, it will execute on all the browsers. Will not having any dependency on specific. So, class, uh, this is the basic thing I'm talking about HTML. Now, let's talk about the editors. See, editors are very important when we're talking about where to write HTML code. Where to write HTML code. So, here we have uh, uh, mainly there are previously there were only two categories, but now this time I'm using the third category as well. The first one is text-based editor okay in the text-based editor like notepad where you have to write the code you have to save the code and then you have to execute the code directly from the uh, directly into your uh, directly into your folder but 
with the advancement of the technology like we have now very fast category of the text editor like we can use vs code we can use uh, sublime atom notepad plus plus packet now with, with, with the help of these editors you can write your code very fast because now these editor having some additional extension with the help of these extension you can write the code quickly okay. so the first one is the normal text space editor second category is the visiting editors visiting editor means the those editors in which there are options to drag and drop the code okay drag and drop the components and it can be used directly so that is basically the previous one we use adopt dream viewer and uh, nowadays we are we are also using frola for visiting editor but we are specific stick with the text space editor and uh, based on ids especially based on ids integrated development environment so we will use a uh, text space editor with ids okay now all the text space editor with their ids are these one the most commonly used the notepad plus plus vs code packet atom you can use this and there are all the links are available in which you can download the editors directly from this uh, beta labs website so these are the editors available but there are one new category added to this editors that is called sandbox no what is sandbox sandbox is an it, it is a platform through which you can write your code directly into the browser on you don't need to be uh, have any vs code or any offline editors like we use notepad plus plus where you need to first store save the code and then you can open the code in directly into the browser but here in the sandbox you can you need to only write the code nothing else you don't need to uh save the code you don't need to open separately into the different browser see i'll 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 show you different sandbox one is codepen.io that i'm using here so i'm just opening codepen.io so uh, this is an uh, online editor where you can directly write your code okay i'm just writing you a basic thing see here i'm just writing hello friends this is html i'm just writing the simple text here and see you will you you can easily find the output on directly onto the screen even though i'm not writing the html code but uh, i'm not recommend to don't write any html code. we have to write the code but i'll just show you see this is a code and this is a sandbox environment here you have to just write the code uh, write the content and you can see the output directly into your screen you don't need to go anywhere else like in the browser and you can open that file into the separate browser and see the output is directly visible into the screen this is one uh, online editor and I, i'm i'm also using one more editor that is called repel it repel it is again an online ide in which you can directly write your code see i'm going to click on plus sign it will create a new repel using the html css editor you can write your program name like uh, first program and click on the create repel Oh, here the, the basic skeleton of the html code is already been created you don't you you don't need to write anything uh, extra code all the code is already written you have to just write your main content so i'm going into the body section and here i'm like hi this is an online ide for html okay i'm writing my content here and click on the run button and you can see the output directly into your own within the uh, within the same uh, online software here even though this editor will help you to share the code directly with your friends aap apne friends ke sath code ko directly share kar sakte ho this is the uh, title so you can just copy and paste the code and you can see the output directly into the browser itself okay it will be uh, works uh, even though you can also write copy this code and you can share with the friends so uh, this is the way of uh, online editors you can share the code you can see the output directly into the the, the integrated environment okay see the, uh, the code has been shared and i'm going to click on the run button and see the, the output is visible so these are different editors available here and it's totally depends upon you which editor you want to use it's totally free and uh, it's totally your choice uh which editor you want to use so this is about the basic 
editors that are available in the HTML file. Let's uh, show you how to write the code. Okay, so for that, let's talk about HTML basics. Okay, now I'm going to write some code. In order to write the code, you 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 have to be know the little basics about how we can write the code. Okay, so first of all, I'm talking about elements. Elements is you can say that the basic command for HTML. Okay, so whatever you write in Angular bracket, whatever you write in Angular bracket, uh, Angular bracket. This these are Angular brackets, less than greater than sign. So uh, these brackets represent the code structure, the syntax of the tag. So whatever the tag, whatever the name of the code you specify within the within these bracket is known as a tag. Okay, the tag. So tags are basically of two type. Uh, some are some some are uh, empty tags. Some are uh, some are pair tags. So basically, the tags are working in a pair. So this is a starting tag, and this is an ending tag. This is starting tag. This is an ending tag. Okay, and these tags are usually works in pair, but there are some additional tags that are not. Uh, work in pair so i will talk about these that those empty tags in later in the coming classes but let's talk about the basic uh, thing how we can write the code okay. so let me uh, open a notepad so i'm i'm telling you how we can write the code in the basic way so this is a simple notepad i'm writing the code here then i'll tell you how to how we write the code in vs code editor because here uh, in this course i'm using the vs code editor for my own choice you can use whatever the editor you want, but I'm using, I'm stick with the VS Code. So here, first of all, let me tell you the skeleton of the HTML. So basically we have four things that we should keep in mind. Okay. The first one is the DTD. This is known as document type declaration. Okay. So first I'm opening the HTML and the basic notepad page here. You have to write a doc type. HTML. So uh, this is the document type de declaration for HTML5. Okay. Now one thing I am just clear: HTML is case insensitive language. It means you can write the code in either in upper case, either in small case. But the recommendation, the HTML file recommendation is that you should write your HTML code in lower case letter. Okay. Except the first line that is doc type. Here, the word doc type it should be in capital letters. But if you write in small letters, like I am writing doc type HTML, it doesn't uh, uh, it doesn't affect anything. It doesn't affect on your output. Okay. Uh, so, but for the sake of uh, semantics and syntax, I'm I'm going with this doc type. Okay. So. This is the first thing you should keep in your mind. The first is the token declaration. Then the main container, a main container that is the HTML tag. So here I'm writing the less than sign HTML. So this is the element, or you can say that the code of the codes, uh, the basic statement of any page. So first I'm writing HTML. See the tag uh, is a combination of starting and ending tag. It's like a block. See, in different programming language, we use these blocks. These blocks represent a container for like Java language, for C or C++. Okay, similarly, in HTML, this is a starting tag and there should be a closing tag. Okay, and the closing tag having this, the, the not uh, the forward slash, basically the forward slash. Okay, not a backward slash. This is a backward slash, but here we use a forward slash. Okay. So this is the this this entire thing is called a tag. Okay, and the single thing is called an element. Okay, because uh, the tag should be in uh, in a, having a proper uh, like starting and ending tag. Okay. So this is the first the container tag that is the HTML tag, and now. Our HTML document, see this, uh, the entire document is divided into two parts. Is divided into two parts. So I'm just 
for the sake of division i am writing a i am clearing a creating a line here it should have an head tag okay so head should have also closing tag and there should be a body tag now what is the reason behind for separating these two? the reason is that there is no actually there is no line but i am for for explanation i am just creating a line in between two uh, the head section means the header information header information is the information about your document about your document okay so, uh, for, uh, here i am using the first uh, tag that is called title tag uh, my page okay, and i am closing with the title tag so this title is the title of your web page that will be visible in the browser when you execute your code okay. so it should be in the head section it should be in the head section okay because this is this is the information about the page similarly there are so many tags that can be used here okay uh, just for the summary i'm i'm adding a meta tag there is one meta tag there is a, a link tag okay. there is a script tag is a style tag there are so many tags that can be used with used in the header information but we will discuss these tags in coming classes okay so i'm just stick with the first tag that is the head tag now let's talk about the body let's talk about the body now body means the the main the, the main information that you want to represent on your html document okay like i'm here this is a Main information to want to display on the page on the on the document. Okay, so I'm writing some content. So this content is actually the content that will be displayed in the browser. So here I'm writing the basic skeleton. Basic skeleton includes the doc type. And main container HTML tags, then the head tag contain the header information, the body tag contain the the the, the main content that wanna be displayed on the screen, and the closing HTML tag. Okay, now the next thing you have to save the document. Okay, so I'm uh, creating the document at the desktop. You can store your document anywhere in your entire directory. So I'm so I'm writing my page dot HTML. Okay. See, you can write any name, but for for project purpose or for making your website to be live in the server, the server wants to be used is a, using a, some semantics, and that semantic is saying that the first page should be your index.html. But you can write any page. But whenever it the, the, the file the application runs on the server, it looks for the index.html page because this is the main page. Okay, so. The first page should be index page and the extension should have dot html or dot htm both are extensions uh, are valid either dot html or dot html okay now i'm making this document to be saved here let me save here now you will see uh okay not being available there let me save okay it will be there it will be there let me find here so it's in desktop. This is index.html. Okay. Now, now it, the first thing there are three steps. We have to write the code. We have already written the code. Second, we have to save the code. We have we have saved the code. And the third step is execute the code. See, HTML file will always be run in the browser. Okay. So see, uh, now it will be having. Uh, it's, it's going to be open in the index in the Edge Microsoft Edge. Because uh, Microsoft Edge is my default browser, so I'm just double clicking here. Now you will see the information that I have set in the body section is going to be displayed here. Okay. Now see, uh, it means now the code has been executed by the browser. Now the next thing is that we have to add some changes. Here I'm going to add some changes. This is our first class. So I'm saving the code now. 
once i have saved the code i have to go back to the my browser and here i have to click on the reload button okay once i click on the reload button our document will refresh and it will uh, add the content updated content see this is our first class okay now every time we have to refresh the screen okay so whatever the document whatever the data we will update when you want to the updated changes you have to click on the reload button okay so uh, because we are using the basic basic notepad now i am writing the same code in vs code editor because vs code editor is one of the the editor that is being used by every developer nowadays so i am going to use it now for the vs code editor I, there are some slightly difference in uh, the steps so first of all you have to create a folder let me write uh, create a new folder here not for every time you have to create the folder for the first time that is a project in which you are you are going to write create your project so see i am writing my project okay now you have to open this folder into your vs code editor into your vs code editor so i am opening it with the vs code now when you when you create when you open this is for the first time there is a blank project now the first thing you have to create the index.html file that is the main file so here on the explorer window i am going to click on the new button and here i am going to write index.html okay so the file has been created now you can write your skeleton you can write your skeleton but see skeleton is the the code that is being available uh, that is being here in every file so if we are writing the same code again then it, it means we uh, see skeleton is need to be write in every step in every program so vs code gives us a an inbuilt extension that is called emit that is called emit okay so emit help us to write a basic skeleton within a single uh, single character see i am writing explanation sign Okay, and when I writing explanation sign, it gives us me if we want to use the element extension, you have to just press enter. See, when I press the enter, the entire skeleton of the program already been added. See, uh, the doc type is there, the HTML tag is there with the with the default language as English. The head tag is there. The basic head tags that are required in every page is all is also there. Okay, see, this is a meta character set, and this is a uh this is a uh, http equivalent tag tag we will discuss these tags that is a viewport tag so here we don't need to explain this so i am removing this tag okay and head closing body now this is a uh, content from vs code editor so i am writing the code now uh, the next thing is how to execute uh this code directly from your vs code editor okay now vs code editor is an uh, is an id it means it has uh there are some variety of extension that help us to execute the code faster okay instead of going back to the uh, folder and double clicking on the uh, index attachment then it will be open in the browser okay so in the vs code editor we are going to use some extension and that extension is we have to we have to click on this button okay when i click on this button uh, here i have to search an extension called live server okay this is the live server by trick day so see how many downloads are there so many users are using this live server extension so see here i am having this disable and uninstall because this extension i have already installed okay so we have to install it now what happened what is what is the benefit of using this using this extension see extension help us to to see the your your code in directly into the local server so live server will create a local server and this local server help us to uh, help us to execute the code directly into your machine okay for executing this you have to right click on the on the screen and there is an open uh with live server option you have to click it here so it see here it will be started and see the server has been started at the, the available port now see the content is being displayed on the output 
okay, the browser showing the output, but there is an additional uh, feature of this VS Code editor. First feature is that you can see the output directly from the VS Code editor. You don't need to go to the browser and find the file and find the open the folder and then double click on the file. The second feature that I'm going to show you. See, if you want to change something, like I want to add one more line. Hello, friends. When I and when I see I'm doing nothing, see the output is directly shown on the screen. This is because this is a live server. Live server means it will look after the changes and it will automatically reload your screen. You don't need to press on the reload button. It will automatically detect that something is being updated in the ap actual application and it will immediately reload their uh, browser and it will show the output directly on the screen. Okay. You don't need to anything, do anything. Okay. Now, the next thing, if you want to see, I want to add some paragraph. So I'm writing P and here, uh, this is a paragraph. Tag. Okay, I'm writing this and immediately you will find this output on the screen and see I'm writing some style here. I'm writing style color uh, red. Okay, now see when I write the code immediately uh, the, the paragraph color has been changed. So it is very fast. It immediately respond back to the server. That's why it is called live server because server means uh, it, it look after the content. Either the content has been updated by the VS code. Yes, it has been updated by the VS code and it immediately uh, reload the server, reload the server. That's why it is called live server. So this is one extension that I am using for, for writing, a, a writing the code in the VS code. Editor. And there are one, one or two more extension that I am specifying and specifically using this course. One is one extension is called, uh, rename tag auto rename tag auto rename tag this is also very important uh, extension see i want to change the tag from p to h1 see whenever i change here in h1 we have to change the closing tag as well but see the closing tags automatically change if i'm not using this extension then I have to be manually changed here from H1 to H2 or H2 to H1. See, I'm writing H2, the, the, fr the, the front tag, the starting tag is either automatically changed. So that is the beauty of this uh, extension. It will automatically rename the, rename the tag if you change this one point. One more extension that I'm going to use that is called Prettier. Now, what is Prettier? Prettier is a code formatter extension see i'm going to write some code here uh so I am, i'm writing paragraph okay and I'm, I'm writing something here see, i'm writing lorem 50 okay and i'm writing some image tag here i'm writing some anchor tag here okay and uh, see i'm just changing the the code here okay see i'm writing some uh, table tag here the, the, the code is not look better now. Nah? See, it's not arranged properly. So what happened if you press the control S button for saving your document at the same time, the prettier extension will work and it will automatically rearrange the entire code in a proper manner. See, I'm just pressing the control S button. Prettier will execute in background and will, it will maintain the code in a proper format. So it is, it is auto format it becomes a auto format. So that is an extension I'm using. The one more extension that I'm using here that is called material icon. Okay. Why I'm using material icon? Because with a material icon, you can use different icons. Okay. Like there are so many icons available. You can use like, see here I'm using this HTML. So this HTML having this brackets. Okay. Suppose I'm going to create a new CSS file. Uh, style dot css okay. the icon will be automatically added in front of the front of the file so that you can easily uh, get the file that okay this is a css file let's create another file that say uh, first dot js file okay. the extension that icon js will be added let's add one more file say 
uh, my React dot JSX. JSX is an extension of React file. See, there's an icon, React icon is coming in front of the uh, file. So, so you can easily identify, okay, this is a JS file, this is a CS file, this is an HTML file. On an HTML file, you have to work. These are some extension that will definitely help you and it will make your uh, make your make your efficiency to code faster.